Electric cars are fantastically engineered machines, and Tesla is often considered a leading name in the electric vehicle sector. In this video, I'll explain Elon Musk's fascinating engineering behind the new electric motor, called the IPM Sin RM, a motor that has totally different design, making use of both magnetic and reluctance action. First, it's important to understand how the motors in the previous models work. This version is known as the induction motor, and as you can see, it consists of a cylindrical rotor of conducting bars, which fits inside a larger tube full of windings called a stratter. An AC input is passed through the windings, producing an RMF, or rotating magnetic field. The fluctuating field causes an EMF in the rotor bars due to Faraday's law, and consequently a current flow in the bars. When the current flows, a magnetic field is produced around the bars. As this field interacts with the RMF, a force is produced and the rotor turns. The induction motor was invented by Nikola Tesla at age 21, which is where the company gets its name. But there is an issue. Suppose for long drives at cruise speed, losing 3 to 4% of energy to generate current in the rotor bars is definitely not efficient. Elon Musk engineers made a stunning design choice and abandoned the conventionally used and well-proven induction motor and replaced them with the IPM Sin RM motor. So what makes IPM Sin RM motors so special? The permanent magnet motor has permanent magnets in the rotor instead of bars. The RMF in the outer tube therefore interacts with the permanent magnetic field, producing force, causing the rotor to turn. The issue with this is that the permanent field causes back EMF in the outer windings, an EMF which opposes and therefore reduces the AC input EMF. This is due to Faraday's law and the effect is larger as the rate of change of flux increases. A permanent magnet motor produces good torque when you start the car or ride up a hill. However, as the vehicle's velocity increases, the motor performs terribly. A motor that does perform well at high speeds is a synchronous reluctance motor, or SYN RM. Reluctance is a medium's ability to oppose magnetic fields. Iron has low reluctance, whereas air has high reluctance. By cutting air slots into an iron rotor, the areas of high reluctance cause the rotor to rotate at the same frequency as the RMF as it tries to maintain a low reluctance state. The torque produced is known as reluctance torque. SIN RMs perform well at high speeds as they eliminate the problem of back EMF caused by permanent magnets. The IPM SIN RM is a combination of permanent magnet and SIN RM motors, and if we integrate it by placing the permanent magnets into the slotted cuts of the SIN RM motor deep within the iron core to achieve a more desired characteristic in the EV application, high efficiency, at low and high speeds. Now let's analyze the IPSIM RM motor in the Model 3. As you can see, it's clear from the total torque graph that if the RMF angle is around 50 degrees, we'll get maximum torque from the motor. So Elon Musk engineers made sure that when you start the car, the RMF angle is around 50 degrees, which will guarantee maximum torque production using both reluctance and permanent magnet torque. But after a certain high speed, that back EMF shows up. To overcome this, field weakening is done. The permanent magnets in the IPM SIN RM motor will still have some effect on the stator producing back EMF at higher speeds. To overcome this issue, we can align the RMF opposite the permanent magnetic field, as you can see. The RMF weakens or almost cancels the permanent magnet field. So this way, even at high speeds, such motors won't produce much back EMF. Obviously, at this stage, the torque production will mostly come from the reluctance effect. 
Tesla is not the first to use this type of motor. Toyota introduced an internal permanent magnet synchronous reluctance motor, IPM Sin RM, on the Prius. But Tesla's version is considered as one of the best, simply because of the high efficiency and the range of Tesla cars. Tesla's specific innovation is the segmented magnets, four parts inside of the more typical single solid magnet. Advantages include lower cost, simplicity, and high efficiency. Disadvantages can include noise and torque ripple, especially for switched reluctance motors. Now let's take a short look at the Tesla Model S Plaid's drive unit. The Plaid cars are equipped with a total of three electric motors, one in the front for the front axle and two in the rear for the rear wheels with torque vectoring systems. The system output is 1,020 horsepower. The drive units integrate high-speed electric motors, inverter, and single-speed transmission. One of the key elements of the new drive units are carbon sleeve rotors used for the first time in series production. The sleeve is actually a carbon fiber that's wrapped around the motor by a special machine made by Tesla Automation. The fiber wrap puts the rotor in compression and limits expansion, allowing the higher RPMs. Main advantage? A much stronger EM field compared to a rotor held together by metal. The motor has to wind at extremely high tension as copper and carbon have different thermal characteristics and there's a very tight air gap. The end result is a very good power curve for the Plaid car, far ahead of the previous key Tesla Model S cars, despite at the time of introduction, each of them was state of the art. The carbon fiber rotor sleeve is something that's high end, but not a breakthrough for high performance PM motors. There are several vendors that specialize in making the sleeves and rotors. They reduce rotating mass plus increasing sleeve strength to keep the magnets in place under the extreme centrifugal force at high RPMs. The Plaid motor has some sort of special magic in it as it almost holds peak horsepower to red line. I find it hard to believe, but as you get increasingly higher gear and windage, friction losses plus the magnetic hysteresis, winding impedance, and harmonics all building at higher RPM and frequencies. This is why every motor has a peak power point at a specific speed and then horsepower will start to sag. Perhaps they're overamping at higher speeds and getting away with it because of better cooling capacity? The most incredible thing about this motor is the super high red line and extremely flat power curve. Tesla's older models had a peak power point after which power began to taper off. This power curve allows the new Plaid to pull well all the way to the 23,308 red line at 200 miles per hour. Electric motors may never sing like a small block or a flat plane crank Ferrari, but maybe a decade or so from now, we'll regard the Tesla Plaid powertrain as fondly as we do those engines and every car lover will be able to describe in intimate detail what kind of motor it uses. I hope you guys had fun and enjoyed this video. And if you did, you've got to destroy that like button today. And don't forget to subscribe and click that bell. And if you want to know more about mind-blowing supercars and Tesla news, check on our exclusive mind-blowing cars playlist on the watch next. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you in another mind-blowing video.